Well, turn over to Acts 8. And we'll say a few more words and we'll move the service along. We're going to have Brother Leonard to come and, and uh, give the invitation today. We're sure missing Paul. Amen. And maybe I can find it, maybe I can't. And he, in, verse, in chapter 8, verse 27, he arose, talking about Philip, who had been in a revival, and he went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Canaanite, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, and was returning and sitting in his chariot. And he read in the book of Isaiah, the prophet, then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scripture which he read was this, He was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before his shears. So opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or some other man? And Philip opened his mouth and began the same scripture and preached to him Jesus. And as he went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? Wow. Wow, he'd been to church, but nobody mentioned nothing about Jesus, and nobody mentioned nothing about, about the Scripture, but he was reading from, but Philip opened at that same Scripture over in Isaiah, and he began to... At the same scripture and preach to him Jesus because who, that's who Isaiah was preaching about, uh, uh, writing about, and, and, and said, uh, and as they went on hither, they came to a certain water out in the desert, desert. That's a miracle, ain't it? And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What does hinder me to baptize? Why in the world, after the, uh, why in the world wouldn't, uh, uh, would, would he want to be baptized? <laughs> I believe Jesus preached baptizing to him, don't you? I believe he preached repentance to him. <laughs> Amen. And, and here he's trying to guide this man. Uh, uh, he's a, he, he, listen, I'll tell you something. Uh, uh, people need uh, uh, to know the truth. Uh, uh, because the Bible said the truth will set you free. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, some of our fellows said that water ain't going to do you no good. I said, uh, oh, no, yeah. Uh, uh, once I put that water in that old uh, uh, trough, it becomes holy water. Uh, uh, honey, hurry, friend, uh, uh, because it's, uh, it's the water of life. Amen. Uh, uh, when they uh, uh, listen and pierce the Lord in the side with a spear, uh, henceforth came a uh, uh, water. I uh, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, listen to me, friend. Uh, it takes water. Uh, get out there on the desert uh, and see how long you make it without water. Uh, uh, you need water. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, this salvation, uh, it's gathered uh, uh, from many facts. Uh, a man was created uh, of dust uh, and the Lord breathed into his nostrils uh, and he became a living soul. Uh, uh, boys, listen. Uh, uh, we need the water. Uh, uh, we need uh, repentance. Uh, uh, we need the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, don't you want to go? Uh, don't you want to go? Uh, uh, listen. Uh, 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 Philip said unto him, If thou believest with all thy heart, thy may. Talking about baptizing. And he answered and said, I believe. Now do you believe this? I, I say this to you five or so that's getting baptized. And do you believe uh, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Have you made your election sure with him? 
have you called upon him? Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord I, I shall be saved. I, I listen. I, I listen. Ain't no maybes about it. I, if you'll come and yield your heart to God, I, he will re, I listen, receive you. I, and if you go down in the water I, according to the commandment of God, I, not because I say it or the church might say it or not say it, I, I, but because Jesus said it in the Word. I, I, honey, listen. I, you are being connected with God. I, that's a connection that can't be I, unconnected. I, honey, listen. I, I listen, we can go wherever we want. I, I, but I'll tell you what. I, if you ever I, I get connected with God, I, woo, glory be to God. I, I'm glad to have that connection. See, I, I'm glad to have it all. I, I'm glad that God said he's with you who can be against you. Well, praise be unto the Lord. I'll tell you what. That old unit goes on to say that he went on his way rejoicing. Whoa, boys, don't you know? There's joy in this. Honey, everything ain't always bright and shiny. But I'll tell you what. That relationship between you and God always is bright and shiny. Amen. I'm an earthly man. I when I when I get cut, I bleed. Oh, praise the Lord! And when I get pain, I hurt. Honey, when I get disappointments from my family and friends, it hurts. But hear me, there is a connection that you can have between you and the Almighty God. Honey, it's always good morning there. Oh well, glory! I used to go down through the Isles of Miss Chalmers, and I, everybody I'd meet, I'd say, More, Brother Mike, I'd say, Good morning. And, and so, no doubt you heard the story. What's good about it? Well, I'm still saved. I'm still walking with God. I'm walking with God. Amen. Every step I take, I'm getting closer to the great kingdom over there. Honey, we're in a kingdom down here. All the boys born again believers and baptized and filled with the Spirit of God. We're walking in a kingdom, boys. Don't you know that? Can't you see the difference around and about you? You can meet a Christian and it don't take you all day to realize that they're a Christian. You ever notice that? Well, glory, I feel good. Well, Glory be to God. Oh, Lord, I receive you. I receive you through the water. You know, Jesus got baptized. What about that? Now, surely, if anybody didn't need to get baptized, Jesus surely didn't need to get baptized, did he? No, but he did. He set an example for us. He gave his own self on Calvary. How that he died. How he wants you to die out from the world. Amen. And be buried. Our praise be unto God. We need the death, burial, and, and resurrection today. It needs to be preached in the churches more. Honey, That we need to preach some more about the bride. You know, everybody that comes and gets saved and baptized and filled with the Spirit, they make up the bride of Christ. Amen. And he's, who's he coming for? He's coming in the Bible said he's coming for those that are looking for him. How in the world can you look for him if you're still walking in darkness? How can you look for him if you have no faith in God? How can you look for him if you haven't completed the works of God? Now listen to me today. Now listen, this poor boy got happy. He got happy because he done the, he believed. He asked him, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you can be baptized. Amen. He said, I believe it with my whole heart. What hindered me then from being baptized? Well, I'll tell you, old Philip didn't move me. He hopped right up on his cart, didn't he? He seen the water, and you know what he done? He ducked him. Oh, he didn't sprinkle him, no. He didn't sprinkle him. No, he didn't. He ducked him. He put him all the way under. And if any one of these brothers messes up and don't souse you all the way under today, you might feel a hand reach over the tub and push you back down. Because I believe in burning head and ears. I believe you need to do what God said to do. 
if it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. Does that sound all right? If it's good enough for Jesus to go down into that water and be buried in water baptism. And then he went away and he said, he said why these men stay in your gaze? And said, this angel said, this same Jesus you see, go away, shall come again in like manner. Amen. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Let us pray for our children. Let us get them in Sunday school. Let us get our older folks in Sunday school and church. And amen. Let us get baptized. Let us believe on the Lord. Let us get baptized. Let us walk in the Spirit. Amen. And if you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the, the desires of the flesh. Why is Christians having the troubles today? Because they want to still have the, have the Lord in one hand and the world in the other. And it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Uh, honey, I'll tell you what. Uh, there'll come a day. Uh, uh, listen, I've seen it already on a few. Uh, uh, that you'll cry for the Lord. Uh, and you'll be on your deathbed. Uh, and you've got sin in your life. Uh, I praise God. Uh, and you may not call on Him. Uh, uh, because, listen, uh, uh, there is a way that seemeth right uh, unto man. But the end is the way of it. It's the ways of death. Uh, uh, because people, uh, uh, the longer they put the Lord away of uh, the less faith uh, they have. It seems like uh, that 30 feet uh, down that altar, uh, if you don't take and make it today, uh, probably next week it'll be 35 feet. Uh, and the next week, day after that, it'll be 40. Uh, and you'll get farther out of sight of God. Uh, your faith will diminish so little uh, uh, that you will probably uh, leave the church. Uh, you'll probably uh, uh, go out somewhere uh, uh, like the prodigal son. Uh, and I I was wanting to preach on eating in the hog, hog pen, but I didn't get there. Ha. Uh, some people like to eat out of the hog pen. Uh, uh, that old prodigal son thought he had, it, had his life all by the way he wanted it. Uh, he could live it up uh, and go out and into the night and the lights uh, and all that. Uh, uh, boys, uh, listen. Uh, uh, but you can do what you want. Uh, uh, but uh, listen. Uh, uh, light and darkness, uh, uh, they don't work together. Uh, uh, you either with the Lord or you're against Him. Uh, uh, you either walking with the Lord or you're walking in the dark. Uh, uh, you need to look. Look where you're going. Honey, hear me. And again, I tell you and I warn you, get in the Word of God. I can't tell you everything in 30 minutes. I could go to several spots and hit a little here and a little there. But hear me, friend. You need to study the Word of God. You need to have a Bible study. There ought to be some over here and some over there having Bible studies and searching the Scriptures. You ought to be having, I said before, you ought to have your children learning the Word of God. Honey, hear me. You ought to have a time in your life and your home. You ought to be a time of devotion, with family devotion. We need God back in the homes. We need God back in our schools. We need God back in our churches. Praise be unto the Lord, and God's Word is what to stand when the world's on fire. And I'm going to hush and get out of the way and have my brother and brother come to the piano if he'd like, and, and, and whoever's going to sing with him. And, now, Leonard might preach an hour. I don't know, but I, I asked him to give the invitation. It don't matter to me. I'm, all I'm going to do is go back to the house and get in the chair so you, you do whatever you want to do. I, you, you see, I, that, that, that's, you've probably seen that sign on my car. It said, retired. It says, uh, no job. No boss. I, I still got a boss. But she's pretty easy. I can get around her. I, I learned how to get around her. And no money, I think, was one of them things. Anyway, as we come. Now, you know, if you're not saved, you might say, well, it's too late. I'll tell you what. It's only too late if you make it too late. He said today you're... Listen, you'll call upon him. He'll hear your voice. He'll come in. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. 